Your Enough! You are all of you beneath me. I am a god, and I will not be bullied by a... <laughs> you mean god. By me. Oh, I hate Hasbro. <laughs> All right, True Believers, great choice. We have Loki here, the god of mischief, and the brother of Thor. Brother of Thor! Ah. As Selvig says in the movie. <laughs> Loki, who is one of the absolute best characters in the film, and if you've seen it, I no doubt you love him. Um, let's go ahead, and, and I want to show them the sculpt underneath. Mm. This helmet is removable, so yes. let's just have a look at this awesome Tom Hiddleston uh, head sculpt. Now, it's, it's, no, it's nothing like the Hot Toys head sculpt or anything, but no. it really is Not nice. Far, I mean, yeah. You can tell exactly who it is by mm -hmm. looking at it. And uh, the eyes are painted extremely well. That's something yeah. that uh, Hasbro, we've seen with um, the Mark IV Iron Man figure mm -hmm. and now the Hawkeye figure from the Avengers line. They actively avoid... Right, they try to cover the eyes, eyes with but, sunglasses. I mean, it, they're really good at it, so mm -hmm. I... Uh, of course, it's going to yeah. save them some work, but I don't see why they don't try and do it more often. Yeah, I mean, it turned out beautifully here, and it's just a great piece. I'll say I was really worried about this figure, mm -hmm. because we saw a lot of promotional images and a lot of early samples where Hasbro had painted the gold yellow, mm -hmm. and it looked terrible. Yeah, so we had awful. a yellow, like crayon yellow helmet, and mm -hmm. crayon yellow was all over this. It was awful, and I thought it was going to ruin an incredible mm -hmm. sculpt, but thank God, and I really mean it, yeah. thank God that they changed this so that we have this beautiful new... Uh, gold finish as you can see it's got this nice sheen and the gold is even a little different on the horns mm -hmm. uh so and it also extends to staff as well yeah. um let's talk about the accessories really quickly uh, yes. of course as we mentioned the helmet's removable it's made out of a fairly pliable uh or rubber like material yes. so it's not gonna it's not brittle it's not gonna shatter on you but plus uh, it's not gonna scratch the head sculpt yes exactly important. that's an important part uh it comes with this uh staff uh the control staff uh that uh, harnesses the power of the Tesseract uh, used in the finale to shut down the portal machine. Uh, really uh, very accurate little piece, uh, sculpt-wise. The only problem is that it, I, I feel like it should is, be... The word is little. Yeah, that's it. Uh, it's just, it's it's a little... Uh, as you can see, Loki would use it as a real staff mm -hmm. in the film, but as you can see, it, it looks sort of like a long blade or a sword instead mm -hmm. of a full-length staff. I feel like it should have. Uh, we should have had it come all the way down to here, yeah. if at all possible. Something that he could uh, practically. Uh, but I mean, what's there is beautiful. With. It's mm -hmm. just a little short, and uh, I don't know if it was a tooling difficulty on Hasbro's part. They couldn't fit the whole piece under the tool with the other accessories, or, yeah. or something. But something happened with the accessory. Um, the cape is also an accessory because it's removable. Now uh, something we didn't connects. get with the Thor figures, unfortunately. But there's a, a small hole in the back, and then there's a peg on the cape. Fits right in. Uh, there's a whole. Uh, the vest is also a removable piece. Not really an accessory because he doesn't really look appropriate yeah. without it. I mean, it. as you can see, but there's you can't nothing. Take it off. There's nothing glued on about this. You can take it right off, and he looks pretty bad without it. A little too thin. Mm -hmm. But just so you know, all you customizers out there, you can take yeah. it off. Uh, the head, uh, so of course, also removable. Uh, he does not have the hinge at his right. neck, unfortunately. Um, I guess we can talk about the actual costume itself and the sculpting that went in dead. There's mm -hmm. so much to talk about this figure because it is a. Just a beautifully sculpted, nice piece. It really is, yes. Uh, but we'll take off the uh, cape again to give you a better look at it. Uh, like I said, the uh, the vest piece uh, is removable. We won't do it because it's a little uh, time-consuming. For one thing, something that I like about the sculpt is this, these lines that are actually sculpted into the armor. Mm. And uh, that's nice. It's very intricate. As you can see, Loki has kind of a bandolier going on here. And these are all details you can actually see in the film. Now, Brandon, what really impresses me are these uh, shin guards and the knee pads here. Yes. And it's really nice. The layered effect of the coat over the, I guess, skirt mm -hmm. or the kilt, the kilt yeah. is nice. Now, it does hinder the articulation a little bit. Mm -hmm. We'll get to that in a second. As you can see, I, uh, I there's plenty of detail here, the sculpted detail on the sides. And it really sells the idea that it's armor. And even on the back, we have all this really nice Asgardian kind of sculpting and designs. Really beautiful work, and uh, they should be commended whoever sculpted the figure. <laughs> So you would take the world I love for recompense for your imagined slights. Just me. <laughs> um, <clears throat> unfortunately, in the articulation category, Loki is lacking a little bit uh, compared to the other figures in the line. Uh, like I mentioned before, there's no hinge at the neck, so you're not going to be able to have him look up. You can up still get a little bit of up and uh, yeah, down motion, just but not a, much. Uh, which, that's a characteristic of the... Uh, ball joint the way it's connected uh there's also no ab crunch uh at all so he's uh 
Straight chested, you know. Now he does have something that the other figures don't have, which is a waist cut. Mm -hmm. So demonstrate that. Right. So you can grab him. Uh, it's at the top of the kilt. You can just grab him. Get him close the side, in there. So. Uh, good old waist cut. I mean, it's a it's something old fashioned, but it still have. works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Even uh, high dollar figures we're seeing now. Uh, don't have something as simple. Now we can see here, don't be fooled, just because the gauntlets and the hands look like a single piece, they're actually separate. Mm -hmm. As you can see, we have a nice cut here where we can actually twist the hand. Now there's no wrist hinge or anything, but that's not characteristic of this line of figures. No. Uh, double jointed elbows, and uh, here we have the double jointed knees. We have to kind of remove this to show you. Yeah. Loki had one of the very few quality control issues out of the figures that we've picked up so far. Uh, one of his legs, uh, his left leg, I think? It was, uh, yes, his left leg here. Right at the uh, at the completely hip. Completely frozen up. It was locked, and I couldn't actually do broken. the up and down motion. Mm -hmm. I had to freeze him in order to get this motion. Of course, it's fine after I did that, but he was really well locked in there. Yes, I think we mentioned freezing uh, mm -hmm. a couple times. If anybody's not familiar with that, it may seem like a strange thing to say out of nowhere, but uh, just pop your action figure into your refrigerator's freezer for a few minutes, and uh, it'll uh, stiffen up the plastic enough uh, that it won't tear or break uh, if you're trying to. Um, Trying to uh, loosen up some articulation. And if it doesn't budge, boil it after you freeze it. Yes. And that'll make the plastic expand and contract enough mm -hmm. to where your paint clogging problem or too much plastic will eventually sort of uh, break away on its own. Mm -hmm. uh, nine out of ten breaks could probably be avoided uh, if you uh, just follow those uh, simple steps beforehand. It's uh, something you just got to get used to. Uh, now, the other uh, bit of articulation is that, like Captain America, he has the extreme rocker ankle, so you can go. Uh, really uh, from one side of his uh, ankle to the other uh, with his foot. So The rocker ankle is the most important new piece of articulation that's been introduced in action figures in the Again, past five years. Again, he can years. stand flat-footed uh, about as far as you can Now, this is extremely apart. helpful to recreate the battle between Loki and Captain America at the beginning of the mm -hmm. film, which is one of my favorite parts of the movie. And that is Loki, an absolutely stellar figure, and as far as I'm concerned, a 5 out of 5. Absolutely. Loki is a 5 out of 5 and comes highly suggested. I suggest that if you see him, you pick him up immediately, because I guarantee that he will be the very hardest figure to find. The money figure out of the 6. I yes, say. I would say. No drink? You sure? I'm having one? I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> Alright guys, so all the figures and every video review that you watch today uh, will include some of these stands right here. Even Loki himself comes with an Avengers stand. Uh, these are beautiful little stands. Uh, Brandon, demonstrate how these lock together. Okay. Uh, if, if you've ever uh, played or ever saw the uh, HeroScape miniatures game that was available from Hasbro a few years ago, I think they just discontinued it in 09 or so. But uh, uh, it's, a, it's a great mechanism. It's a solid lock. You can put one on and it's not going to fall apart or anything. And you can create a little city street. Uh... Now, the great thing about these is they can lock in different directions as well, so that you can sort of custom build as you'd like to go. Like, say, here, you can get this, and the A's are kind of in different areas. Mm -hmm. Or you can lock them into a circle if you want to, yeah. but it would take several. The intent, uh, based on the uh, image on the packaging, is that you're supposed to create a circle to have the Avengers uh, lined up like the uh, now iconic shot uh, at the beginning of the final battle in the film. So here are the stands. Uh, they're really nice and they really plus up each mm -hmm. of your figures. And you guys are really going to enjoy displaying your figures with these stands. Absolutely. Something we forgot to mention during the video. The action figure stands will also stack and lock on top of each other. So if you have two or more, you can stack them up. Hope not every time get what you want. Oh, including Hasbro figure that's the right size. Big and great.